using Rose Rocket. In the morning, check your WhatsApp and dispatch will communicate through WhatsApp to let you know what to do. You can then go to Rose Rocket, the app, and check all of your pickup information. Here we have the initial location. This is where you're at, and dispatch is letting you know this is your address of where you're at. You also have the pickup location with all the details. You can click on it, find your location to where you're going to. Click on your initial location and mark arrive at stop. Make sure to check that the initial location where you're at is correct. Looking at shipper information. In your Rose Rocket app, click on the pickup location, scroll down, click on your details, and you can see all your details for the pickup load. You have special information such as picking up as a certain carrier, area of point in time, origins, and contacts, as well as a destination. There's also commodities you can click into there and you'll find additional details. You can also add accessories such as tarping and other charges. Now that you've viewed all of your information, you can go back up to your address for pickup, click on it, and route to the pickup. Here is the route to the pickup. You want to take a screenshot of your route and send it off to dispatch through WhatsApp. You want to make sure that your route is clear and legible. Make sure you can see the whole route. Go ahead and send that to WhatsApp, to your dispatcher, and they will let you know if the route looks good. Dispatcher has verified, we're good to go. We will now look at some good examples of routes. Every you go, you have to send a route. It has to be clear in default mode and see the full route. Here's a good example. Here's another good example. You can see the route clearly. Arriving at a pickup location. When you arrive at a pickup location, send a text to your dispatcher that you are there. Then go to your Rose Rocket app and check your details. Make sure you're in the correct location. Get your order number, a reference number, and give it to the shipper. Verify with the shipper that you got the correct load. You can scroll down and get more additional information. Make sure it's going to the correct location and destination. Verify your commodities are correct. Click Arrive at Stop, letting the dispatcher know that you are there. Once the cargo is loaded onto your trailer, you want to complete the task. Then you would like to scroll up and go to Add Photos and add photos of your cargo. Adding pictures of the freight. Click on Add Photo, take your picture in horizontal mode and click on Use Photo. Here are some examples of what your photos should look like. It should be clear, legible, horizontal mode, you can see all of the freight on your trailer, all four corners of the trailer are pictured and uploaded. If the cargo needs to be tarped, take a before and after picture of the cargo and upload it. If there are specific damages you want to upload, go ahead and take a photo of that as well. This is very important. Taking photos is very important. It's proof that there are defects, damages of the cargo, or maybe the shipper loaded it a specific way. 
Any photos that are uploaded into Rose Rocket need to be sent to the dispatcher in WhatsApp. You have now uploaded the photos. You can scroll down, verify everything, and press on Complete Tasks. You can then send to dispatcher the fact that you have loaded up and are heading out to delivery. receiving the BOL. There are two numbers that you need to look at. There is the manifest number, which is associated with the trip, which is shown here, and there is an order number. There are two different things. The manifest number is a combination of orders. The order number is specific to that pickup. As shown here, this is an order number. It is for this pickup. This order number needs to be written on the top of the paper of the bill of lading. That way you can associate this bill of lading with that specific order number. You do not put the manifest number as the manifest number includes multiple orders. On your bill of lading you need the following. The order number on the top, your notes of any damages or defects, shipper signature, shipper name that's written out, and the date. Routing to the delivery. In your Rose Rocket app, you'll have the delivery location. Click on it. You can go down and see the details. And here is a location. You can go to Google Maps, find the directions. Again, take a screenshot of your route and you want to send it to WhatsApp. You want to make sure the route is legible, send it to dispatch, and wait for the response. If they ask you to adjust the route, then do so accordingly. As you can see, they've asked us to take the right route. This can be for many reasons. They can explain why. Let's take the right route take a new screenshot and send that to dispatch. Dispatch has okayed the route, so that means that we are good to go and head to the delivery. Providing good ETAs. An ETA is an estimated time of arrival. Dispatch may ask for it and you must let them know. So I'm going to look at my route and see what time I'm arriving there. But if I need to take a 30 minute break or fuel up, I need to adjust my time. Let's say I need to take a 30 minute break. That's 410 plus another 30 minute break that I have to take. That means I'll be arriving at 440. I will let dispatch know that I'll be there at 440 according to my time. Make sure to include any safety stops or any traffic stops that you can see arriving to your delivery location. You want to let dispatch know the fact that you are there at the delivery location with a simple text saying on site. Go to your WhatsApp and go to your delivery location. Click on it, press arrive at stop. Verify with the receiver your information and add photos of the cargo still on your trailer. Very important, do not at any point let the receiver or anybody touch, unload, or move the freight until the BOL is signed. After it is signed, they can unload you. Now that they signed the BOL, we need to look over our bill of lading and make sure we have everything. We have the order number, we 
we've got the pickup information and the carry is correct with the PO number, reference number. We have our pickup location and address as well as our delivery location, notes, damages, shipper signature name, receiver signature name. If there is a first page, page or second page, you have to make sure you upload it. Most military bill of ladings will have two or three pages. Make sure you receive all three. The bill of lading is your receipt for your load. Uploading the BOL into Rose Rocket. You want to go and scan your signed document. Press complete tasks and add attachments. You want to scan signed document, not take a photo, but scan signed document. You want to scan the BOL in. Make sure that your bill of lading is legible. You can see all of it. All four corners are visible. That looks like a good copy. Press save. It's uploaded and press complete tasks. If there's multiple BOLs, upload those. Dispatch may let you know that you need to park nearby. This may be because you're waiting for another load or they're working on something. To find a location to park nearby, use your tools that you have, such as Google Maps or other maps. Use satellite mode to view locations around you that may, that may fit your truck and trailer. As you can see, I'm looking at a location that may fit me. I'm going to look around. This looks kind of small. So I'm going to look around to see if something's along the route and I found a gas station. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send a picture of this route to my dispatch. And again, it's going to be in default mode. Take a picture, screenshot, send it to dispatch through WhatsApp. Let them know that I'm going to be parking there. If the receiver or shipper allow you to stay at their location, go ahead and stay at their location. The dispatch sees that the route looks good, it's not too far away, they're going to allow it. A few key details. Communication is key. Communicate with your dispatcher. They are there to help you. Communicate with them what's going on as they can only see what they can see on the screen.